This is Twit. So with extensibility, applications from the App Store will be able to extend the system and offer services to other apps. Last pass. <laughs> Sorry. Well, they have, Last you pass. know, they have that uh, keychain. I know, but this will be... Now, of course, one of the reasons we're all so comfortable installing so many apps from the App Store are iOS's security model. Apps are isolated inside of sandboxes where they can access their own data, but can't get at your personal information or mess with other Sorry, apps. Sorry, this is something they didn't permission. put in iOS well, the handle extensibility 8, but they are going to put in OS 10. Right? We wanted to build on this or maybe they are. sandboxing model. So now extensions live inside an application's own sandbox. With this is good. Own data. This is something uh, Renee Ritchie was talking about last week. Right. By way of iOS oh, right. was very interested in this capability. Something the Android's had for some time. Extension. Now, extension can even project UI right back into the originating That's great. app. Now this enables some great things. For instance, in addition to the system's built-in sharing options, an app like Pinterest can offer a share sheet to Safari. Yeah, this is... And Something we've talked about action, for a long time on Mac. I'll be interested to see if they tie that back into the desktop as well. Right. So everything's all... Right they should. Yeah, they should. Because of continuity. The web pages, web content right there. Now we're also supporting photo filters inside of photos and enabling third parties to define their own document providers that work with any iCloud drive. This is something that's been missing from iOS. Yeah, it really absolutely. will enhance it significantly. Finally, we're enabling third-party apps to define widgets that can now go in notification center. I think it feels like time for a demo. <laughs> so let's start. A little cheddar there, filter. but it's okay. So we're back here in photos, and I've got a nice photo here of a flower. And I'm gonna go ahead and edit, and you notice in addition to the options here at the bottom of the screen, we have at the top left this extensions button. I'm going to click that, tap that rather, and you notice this is probably the biggest change to iOS since the App Store. And one from That's what he log. said. So I'm going to Did he say log. that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Channeling <laughs> Craig Frederick. Right here in the context of no, it, it is. Though. Oh, that's yeah, so is. cool. Bringing up their own UI. It's app mm. with an app. Yeah. This is huge. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's a box inside of a box. It's right back inside of my photo album. It's that Ooh. easy. Oh, that's cool. I'll give you that. Then next, let's take a look at widgets. So I'm going to just pull down Notification Center. I have my existing widgets here in my Today View. But you notice in addition to my widgets, down here at the bottom it says one new widget available because I've downloaded an app recently that contains a Notification Center widget. So I'm going to tap Edit. This has you kind know, of been the holy center. grail of computing so since OpenDoc. Right. Position right. it where I want among my widgets in my Today View. Really, you think about, on. you start thinking and about, you build an app that is really a holder for other apps right. that right here inside builds a center for them. Yeah. Center. This is now something this Android does not do iPad very well. Right. As well. Let's take a look at iPad. And of course, Apple can promise and it works security. Say it works better to do this yeah. when you have tight control over everything. Interactive widget from eBay. So I'm bidding on a Aziz uh, in our chat room says this is iOS and, 8 appception. Uh, apparently I'm being outbid. So I can now write inside of notification, take advantage of the interactivity of widgets. It's almost like it's look at that. It's the personalized homepage. Yeah. Right. It's and an alternative user interface. I like it. All inside of notification I center. I like it. Now to wrap it up, I want to show you extensions. It's in nice Safari. how you can um, bring up Safari. do a lot of customization so outside of the tab settings tab menu too. Just from within notifications here, itself. Um, with some information on a beautiful guitar. All these demos and have been on uh, iPads, out, not on iPhones. The, uh, text here is in Japanese. Yeah. Probably easier to do in Yeah, and the screen is a little smaller Fortunately, too. Fortunately, I have a yeah. uh, Bing translation extension. Bing so I can just translation. Bring up my, uh, I think we could probably sheet. say goodbye to Google. Down here on the second row, Bing Translate. I'm going to tap on that. Oh, Google will keep on building stuff for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think Apple will put any Google stuff at all. Oh no no! I, they won't. Uh, they did still show in Safari. They still showed search with Google. So you know, I, I think that the users really cut it out more than that. Yeah. yeah. Now for our extensions grand finale, let's put that on my Pinterest board. You see, Pinterest has an extension right here. I'm going to tap on that, and this is actually Koch, a new UI defined. Who uh, was Pinterest. one of the original CyanogenMod like developers says customization and extensibility was the main differentiation point. 
uh, on Android. Seems that's gone now. So uh, a big Android developer saying, thumbs up. And that's a quick look at extensions in iOS 8. I'm loving that. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. Now, there's one important kind of extension that I did fail to mention, and that's the ability to install system-wide third-party keyboards. Hallelujah. Uh, Hallelujah. They got tired yeah, of the one complaining. They were just like, okay, here's the deal. We'll just Hallelujah. Everybody wants this, but hardly anyone will use it. Yeah, that's fine, but... Yeah. For power users who do right. the most want it. Restrictive sandbox with no network I think a lot of this is like, sure we're going to give you everything the Android does this in a safe box. But if that keyboard requires or want, you want to grant it ability, it can ask for access to the network this is key. Uh, to provide extended functionality. We put those controls in your hands. And he is showing swipe. That's extensions and iOS 8. That is, that is frankly, that's a game changer for me. That's yep. huge.